Hello, I'm Martin um, from Montgomery, Alabama, and this is our fairy tale world that myself and my six year old daughter Maggie made. Very nice. It started in the bottom with uh, Ariel, and we actually went to see a play of Ariel, and that kind of inspired us to build it. And we also had lots of Ariel dolls, so we put them in. Um, so we built it and built up, and we did the little romantic scene in the trees. And then we were left with a challenge of what else do we do? So we built a Rapunzel castle, which lights up, and there's actually a disco light in there at night time. And then the game, we were like, we want to know what else can we do? So we went to the right-hand side, and we have Merida in the Highlands with her bears. And then we custom painted a Snow White minifigure, and then the Snow White dwarves, we put them together. So we have that little scene going on. Now describe the, the planning process when you're building this, right? So you're building with your daughter. Uh, are you kind of uh, butting heads at all? Or is it sort of like, uh, let's do this, no, let's do this? No. Yeah? Yeah, it, I'm fairly artistic. Okay. It's fairly fluid. Okay. We just build. That's we don't awesome. we plan absolutely nothing to it. Apart from, I was talking to another lady, we plan the big scale of, we know we want something big, we know we want it tall. We knew it was going next to another scene through one of the heights. None so. of the minutia, none of the little details, no. just kind of that happens. Not at all, just completely happens on it for us. Now describe the dynamic of building with like uh, your daughter. What is that like? I, a lot of people kind of maybe more and more do that, I feel, but yeah. still kind of uh, awesome. Yeah, so I think girls are so important with Legos. Sure. Um, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm opposite of Lord Business now. We get a set and we rip it open and we throw away the instructions if we can. And if she wants to try something, she can. If she wants to play with it, she can. If it breaks, just let me know. Sure. Um, so I enjoy it. It's fun. But you are not Will Ferrell. Not anymore. I was before the movie. The movie broke me. Really? Yeah, so the you movie were watching it. I can't be Lord Business. At the end, I was like, yeah. that's me. That, that's who I am. So it, huh? it actually gave a shift. But building with my daughter is fun. That's really awesome. Much that's it, awesome. So. And she does a lot of the design in the flowers, the trees, where the people go. She set the table for Alice in Wonderland over here. So. Very nice. A, a, a girl's touch, all those little details. Yeah, which I do not have. That's awesome. <laughs> so. And so uh, building the trees, I see lots of interesting colors. Are these yeah. all Lego elements or are these some of the uh, alt bricks? Or, so, uh, alt bricks, absolutely. Okay. Um, we needed to utilize them for some of the orange and the pink colors. And they're pretty much true to Lego's design and it makes it a whole lot easier to get them. So. Uh, but yeah, we wanted to merge it up with what they have. So. Totally, totally. Yeah. Now, one of the interesting things for me always is when I see something with this much height in it, I always wonder how did they get that height? So, how did you kind of build it up? What's what's so inside there? It's built with Lego. Yeah. Um, this is all framed. The front is all framed with regular Lego bricks, and then in the middle and the back is built up with Duplo. Duplo. Okay. And then at the top of that, we have it. The actual Lego two x four brick will attach to a Lego Duplo brick. And so it back to system. Yep. Back to it, system. It's all it's all Lego. Awesome. So, yeah. A wonderful build. Thank you so much for Thanks sharing so much. with us. Cheers. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it.